Romeo Dobbs. Now, I am sure a lot of people, early morning, with a whole lot of who? I don't blame you. Because I guarantee you that there's a lot of people 24 hours ago who had no idea who Romeo Dobbs was. I very well could be saying his name wrong. That, though, is in play for people that have been around a long time. So I guess maybe that's not a good bar that we're clearing as is. But what happened is Aaron Rodgers went out there and sung the praises of Romeo. Oh, Romeo. And he went from 101 to win the Offensive Rookie of the Year to 50 to 1 to 40 to 1 to 26 to 1. Now, this is twofold. Singing the praise of a rookie doesn't drop your Rookie of the Year odds that drastically. But when someone like Aaron Rodgers does it, it's going to have a lasting impact. But the real reason I do believe this number is changing so much is the lack of belief in everything else the Packers wide receiver room is offering. Because nobody thinks Lazard is good enough or fellow rookie Christian Watson or oft-injured Sammy Watkins. So really, the takeaway here if you're betting this Romeo number right now, is you believe fourth round rookie out of Nevada, Romeo Dobbs is going to be the number one wide receiver for Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, I have my doubts. 26 to 1 he is now. And I think you hit the nail right on the head with this one. This isn't about pumping up a fourth round draft pick that you think's having a pretty good camp and he can catch the football and you're surprised that he actually is acclimated to the NFL so quickly. It's an indictment of who you have as your starting wide receivers. Alan Lazard, Randall Cobb, Watson, and also, you know, we'll see if Tanyan's back from injury here at tight end. That's all it is here. He's basically saying, Boy, if this guy is standing out as a draft pick that probably shouldn't even, I mean, he's going to make the team, obviously, but not really be a factor working on your routes as your rookie season, being a gunner on the punt team. That's usually where your focus is when you're a middling round draft pick here at the wide receiver position in the NFL, particularly in a Packers organization. But it's basically telling us this guy could be our best wide receiver, which shows us exactly what our wide receiver core actually is. These are troubling you know, circumstances here for the Green Bay Packers, at least for me. But we do have these weird little tangents that Aaron Rodgers goes off. Like, I mean, hey, I, you know, I built my entire career. And Jay Coomer, I'm not being here. I don't even know if I can play football this year. I mean, this guy was the glue that kept the Packers offense together. Stop the madness here. So he's a little bit quirky talking about Aaron Rodgers and who he likes at the wide receiver position. 